Hello and welcome to this episode of Rail Story Revisited, where we take a second look at a locomotive we have already looked at. This week we look at Fire Queen. The Dinorwick Quarry in North Wales was once the second largest slate quarry in the world. It was begun at the end of the 18th century, and at the turning of the 19th century, a narrow-gauge horse-drawn railway was laid to carry the slates from the quarry down to the sea at Porth de Norwick for onward shipping and sail. In the 1840s, the railway was replaced by a modern steam railway laid to the unusual gauge of four feet. Sadly, the whole giant enterprise came to an end in June 1969, which is where our story starts. In October and December 1969, auctioneers were called in to dispose of the assets of the closed quarry. And this collection of unique photographs were taken during inspections of the site. The quarry workings were left as they had been when the last quarryman left. A massive gash in the hillside with an overhead cableway to carry spoil down from the highest levels. The slate shipping wharf with stacks of cut roofing slates awaiting their turn to be loaded into the slate wagons to be sent down the railway to Porth de Norwick. The narrow gauge engine shed which housed the famous quarry hunslets left just as it was. The main workshops at Gilfach the were a Victorian time capsule, hardly changed since they were built, a Shearlegs locomotive cabin boiler gently rust in the main courtyard. Signs of happier times, a quarry wagon and neatly stacked slates awaiting a train which would never come. One of the yellow trucks specially built to carry Queen Victoria during a royal visit. A pair of unusual hand-cranked four-foot gauge velocipedes for one man or eight men. In the workshops were quarry Hunslet locomotives in various states of disassembly. A mostly complete holy wall built by Hunslet in Leeds as works number 799 of 1902. The dismantled Red Damsel, works number 493 of 18. 89. And Wild Aster of 1904, seemingly awaiting her next turn of duty. But the star of the show was Fire Queen, built in 1848 by Alfred Horlock and one of a pair of locomotives supplied to the Quarry Company to pull the slates down to the sea at Porth de Nord. She had been withdrawn in 1886. Sadly, her sister Jenny Lind was scrapped. But Fire Queen was happily preserved in the small engine shed at Gilfact the. Fire Queen was in remarkably good condition in October 1969. With traces of the original green paint and most of her original brass boiler fittings. The little shed in October 1969 was a veritable time capsule from the Victorian age. Fire Queen is still with us today, on display at the National Trust's Penryn Castle Museum, along with many other exhibits recovered from De Norwick Quarry. The workshops at Gilfach the are now home to the Welsh Slate Museum at Llanberis, and, since July 2021, the Welsh slate industry and its unique landscape in northwest Wales are now a World Heritage Site. On a par with Stonehenge or the Pyramids, the slate landscape of northwest Wales is a site of outstanding world value heritage. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below. And you can also show your appreciation by liking, sharing and subscribing. You can also support Rail Story on Patreon for as little as a takeout cup of coffee once per month. I would also like to thank Richard Garside and his father for the loan of the photographs which made this video possible. And I'd also like to thank all of you for your kind words and messages during my recent illness. 
and I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.